Hey everybody, Isaac Handegard, Realtor with Remax Legacy Realty in Fargo, North Dakota, and today is July 19th. It's a Thursday, and I think on my last vlog, I said it was Monday, June 16th, and today is Monday, June 16th. My bad, it was Monday, July 16th. Apparently, I'm a month behind, but this is episode number two of the vlog, and if you guys have any ideas for the name of this vlog, I don't wanna just call it the vlog. Comment below your ideas. I wanna get these names from you guys. Today I have a lunch meeting with Neil Johnson at Brutus Brick House in West Fargo, and he is a mortgage lender with Valley Mortgage. So I'm going to take you along for that. Uh, we're gonna just kinda go over a couple of ideas that he has for me, and then we will take a look at Brutus Brick House. It's amazing brick oven pizza located in West Fargo. You gotta check the place out. It's one of my favorites. So after that, I wanna bring you guys some value. We're gonna go over inspections, and more specifically, we're gonna go over home inspections in new construction, and the difference between a city inspector and a licensed home inspector. So. Stay tuned for that, but first, I gotta get some pizza, so stick around with me. Wrap it up quick. All right, that was it for the meeting. Uh, let's check out uh, Brutus Brickhouse real quick. Okay, lunch was amazing as always at Brutus Brick House in West Fargo. So now it's on to the difference between a city inspector and a licensed home inspector. When it comes to new construction, every new home needs to be inspected by the city inspectors of each city in our area. So what a city inspector does is they're gonna come in, they're gonna check out the permit, they're going to review ordinances in that area as well as setbacks and make sure the house is compliant with everything. But they're also going to make sure that the builder is completing each step before the next step of the building process is started. And this basically makes sure that the builder and their trades are not cutting any corners to sacrifice quality and safety in the home for the consumer, which is you guys. That being said, there's a huge difference between the city inspector and a licensed home inspector. A licensed home inspector is who comes in when you purchase a home and you have an inspection contingency on your purchase. And I always recommend these, even on new construction, because even though a city inspector has been along for the ride throughout the entire construction process, they're not making sure that materials have defects, they're not making sure that things are installed 100% properly, that's where the home inspector comes in and they make sure that there aren't any cracks in siding. Um, they're making sure that the air conditioner is level. Uh, things like that that can cause issues down the road or even cause immediate issues. So even though if a home inspector comes in, does the inspection and they don't find any immediate issues, they still give you a packet after the inspection to tell you what they saw and how they kind of went through the entire process, and what this can do is not only bring up immediate issues, if there are any, but it can also point you in the direction of certain things that could cause issues down the road after you've owned the home for a couple of years, things like that. So it's always good to have that packet, even if there's nothing wrong with the house currently. It can also, <clears throat> excuse me, it can also cover issues that can come up in the future. So. I always recommend them. So that's the difference between a licensed home inspector and a city inspector. So I hope this clarified some things for you and if you have any questions, comment below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make that bell ding so you get your notifications. Thank you and have a great day.